We are getting close to the event. The event that happens only once every four years. I'm talking about the Bitcoin halving. What's going to happen leading up to this halving? Will Bitcoin pump? Will Bitcoin go sideways? Or will Bitcoin dump? We'll find out in about 10 minutes because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yep, if you did not know or were aware, the Bitcoin halving is going to be here before we know it. 2024's halving occurs on block number 840,000. And as of shooting this video yesterday, the block height was on number 830,283. That means there were only 9,717 blocks left until the halving takes place. So what does that mean? Well, if you didn't know, Bitcoin blocks happen on average about every 10 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less than that. But using this 10 minute average and multiplying it by the 9,717 blocks, we get the Bitcoin having taking place in 97,170 minutes or 67 days. But remember, Bitcoin blocks take an average of 10 minutes. It could come earlier. That is why some countdown websites show it coming in 63 days or even as low as 61 days like from NiceHash. Between 67 to 61 days and the Bitcoin halving will be here. The event will happen sometime between Sunday, April 14th and Saturday the 20th of April. Wouldn't that literally be dope if the Bitcoin having happened on 420. I'd definitely light one up for Satoshi if that is the case. Shit, I gotta roll up that joint, dog. So what is going to happen on this day in April? Well, the supply of Bitcoin emitted to the miners is going to be cut right in half. This is going to have massive effects on the markets. A lot of people don't understand the gravity of this. So let's look what happened in the past to get a grip of what this is going to have an effect on. From January 3rd, 2009 up to November 28th, 2012, the Bitcoin reward per block was 50 BTC. AKA about every 10 minutes, a miner received 50 Bitcoin for securing the blockchain and processing the transactions. In these first years of Bitcoin, basically half of the supply was released, over 10.5 million BTC. From November 28th, 2012 to July 9th, 2016, this got cut in half to 25 BTC per block. During this time, the supply grew, but not nearly as much as the first time, the first cycle, growing by about half, by about 5.2 million coins, getting the total supply to just over 15.7 million BTC. From July 9th, 2016 to May 11th, 2020, this emission was cut in half once again to 12.5 BTC per block. Again, the supply grew by about half as much as the prior cycle, only 2.7 million coins, bringing the total supply of Bitcoin to about 18.4 million. After May of 2020, up to today, emissions have been cut in half again to just 6.25 BTC per block. The supply of Bitcoin has seriously slowed compared with the first cycle. By the time of the next Bitcoin halving in April, the total supply of Bitcoin will be near 19.7 million, meaning supply will have grown by only 1.3 million this time around. From April 2024 to sometime in 2028, the emissions of BTC per block will be 3.125. And during these four years, only about 650,000 Bitcoin will be mined. From 2028 to 2032, 1.5625 BTC per block will be emitted. And only about 325,000 BTC will be mined during these four years. And this continues and continues continues until about the year 2140 when the last Bitcoin will be mined. So from this, if you couldn't tell, the Bitcoin halving provides a major supply shock. 
a supply shock that has big implications to the crypto markets. In the past, after each halving event, Bitcoin has gone into major bull cycles. The price of Bitcoin goes parabolic. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, What's straight, up, bro? We straight up. But how high? <laughs> well, after the first halving in 2012, the Bitcoin price was just $12. After this, Bitcoin went on a crazy, crazy run. The Bitcoin peak happened in November of 2013 with the price of nearly 1200 bucks, a 9,900% increase, a 99x. The price of Bitcoin on the day of the second halving in 2016 was about $650. After this day, Bitcoin once again went on a parabolic run, going to nearly 20,000 bucks in December of 2017 just over a 2,900% increase, a 29X. What about after the third halving that happened in May of 2020? Well, on the day of the third one, Bitcoin was sitting at around $8,600. After this, the Bitcoin price shot to the moon, going parabolic and reaching a peak of about 69,000 in November of 2021. This was basically an increase of over 700% a 7x. So I hope you can see the trend here. Bitcoin usually peaks in the next year after the halving event. And in the past three cycles, this peak has come at the end of the year, twice in November and once in December. So likely after this halving event, expected to take place in April of 2024, the peak of Bitcoin will come late in 2025. I would expect it to happen sometime between September and December of 2025. But what will be the multiplier from the halving price in April? Well, in the first cycle, it was a 99X from that halving price. In the second, it was a 29X. And with the most recent one, it was a 7X. Obviously, this multiplier is shrinking with each successive cycle. Thus, we're not going to see a 7x like last time. From a 99x the first cycle down to a 29x the second, it's a decrease in multiplier by about 70%. From a 29x the second cycle down to a 7x the third is a decrease in multiplier by about 75%. Huh. Another pattern emerges. It seems like having to peak multipliers are decreasing in the low to mid 70% cycle after cycle. If we take this into account for this coming up cycle, a low to mid 70% reduction from 7x would give us somewhere between 1.8x to 2.1x. Thus, from the halving in April of 2024 to the peak which we predict to happen at the end of 2025, the price will increase by 1.8x to 2.1x. So how much would that be? Well, if Bitcoin was to stay at yesterday's price peak of 50k, that would mean Bitcoin would peak somewhere between 140,000 and 158k. But that price was just with yesterday's peak. Bitcoin could be much, much more on the day of the halving in April. And I think that could be the case. Why? Well, in the past, about 60 days before the halving, a pre-halving rally tends to occur. From the last cycle, the day of the halving was May 11th, 2020, and Bitcoin was at 8,600. Two months prior to this, March 11th, 2020, the Bitcoin price was at 6,100. So from two months prior to the halving peak, a 41% increase. In the cycle before, a similar thing can be seen. July 9th, 2016 was the halving date and the price was $650. Two months before this, May 9th, 2016, the price was $450. So two months prior to the halving, to the halving date, a 44% increase. With this recent Bitcoin breakout, it appears Bitcoin is slightly ahead of schedule with this having anticipation rally. I mean, pulling out the Bitcoin seven day chart, in just a week, the price has gone from 43K to over 50K at the peak. 
So let's use 43K as our starting number. If Bitcoin was to increase by over 40% like previous cycles, from the 43K number, the price would be about $61,000 on the day of the halving. If this is going to happen, 61K at the halving in April, a 1.8X to 2.1X from that number would put Bitcoin peaking between 170K and $189,000 sometime at the end of 2025. Could this happen? Well, this Bitcoin halving cycle is different with the Bitcoin ETF sucking up Bitcoin from the market. And guess what? People in this space are noting this is causing some weird things. A gel on X at Crypto Gel NL tweeted this yesterday. For the first time in its history, Bitcoin has broken the 0.618 retracement before the halving. The strongest start to a new bull cycle ever. Two months to go until the halving event. This cycle will probably play out differently than the others. And they show the chart that Bitcoin has indeed never broken this level in prior halvings. This cycle will play out different from the others? Well, not that much different, because the more things change, the more they stay the same. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name in